Hi, everybody. This is Paula Harris. I'm back because I have so much exciting news for this year. I am doing some international work that's so great. Um, we are still, Jacques Vallée and I are still working on Socorro. We will be going back. Um, we are working on the Trinity case, which is so important because now the government is looking at studying this beginning with 1945, which is so important because there were so many crashes in the New Mexico area. And from 1945, which had to do with the atomic bomb, 1947 Roswell, there's Aztec, Corona, the plains of San Augustine. If you've done research on UFO recoveries, they were in that area in the, in the early 40s and 50s. So what we're looking at is a geopolitical view of, of uh, uh, ufology. And I have never looked at cases in isolation because I don't think they, they just spontaneously happen. Uh, so if you have a timeline and you're working in research, real research, you have to look back to the 1945, then the 1950s Space Brother Movement, which I'm really interested in. Uh, in, in 2014, I took Robert Short and a group of people that were part of the Space Brother Movement back to Giant Rock and, then, and really looked at that, that 1953 Adamski, Menger, uh, Van Tassel, or Feo Angelucci. And, and, you know, then I asked important questions like why did Howard Hughes fund the Integratron for George Van Tassel? And was it because we had Yogananda and the start of the start of the New Age movement? So maybe the philosophical or the um, the history of thinking, the philosophy, and I look at it as interdisciplinary. Thinking of the planet was fertile for more of these contacts, and then '63 with Betty and Barney Hill in the '60s, and and we got then a whole new type of ufology. So if you want to uh, take part in what I call my uh, uh, university classes, I teach from Michael Sala online at the Politics Institute. And I'm starting a master class on whistleblowers because I have uh, all of these audio and video that they gave me. <clears throat> Anything I talk about, I was involved with. Colonel Corso, Michael Wolf. Clifford Stone, even during his last years, what they told me, and that is a master class. And if, if overflows, I'll do another one on this in March. It's almost filled anyway, because people want to know what they told me. This is not coming from my head. So I'm doing that. Then I'm flying to Milan or Milano, and I'm going to be part of an international conference with Paul Hynek, Jaime Maussan, and other international researchers. And that's where I get a lot of information. I sit down, we have coffee and we exchange information because for me, ufology is not just American. And so from there, I'm going to, um, uh, from Mexico City on July 1st and 2nd, an international conference, and then Nova Scotia, and then uh, possibly Brazil in September. I definitely wanna go back to Chile. I did a lot of work on the friendship case in Chile in November of next year. So I am doing a lot of out of the country work. I can share it with you in one of two ways, either a masterclass or on Patreon. And then for the people who want to do in person, Sarah Bressman Cosme and I are doing a conference in Crestone and she's going to be doing a regression conference. We're going to talk about Atlantis, I'm going to talk about my latest research, and that is August 11th through 13th. It's on starworksusa.com. My latest work and the work on Trinity is on paulaharris.com. And may I encourage you to follow along, come with me to uh, all the places of the world, because that's the only way that I can gather information and I wish you a happy spring. And yes, spring will come. <laughs>